With the NBA training camp right around the corner, we got some concerning news for the Golden State Warriors. Now, before we get deep into this concerning topic, let's first go through some exciting news. Obviously, we know the team has been working out with many guards in the past few weeks. However, this training is finally coming to an end and the result is pretty solid. According to Shams, quote, for agent Avery Bradley has agreed to a deal with the Golden State Warriors. Sources tell me and Anthony Slater. Now, we don't have the detail yet of this contract, but I assume it's a veteran minimum. With that aside, the main topic of today's video is around Andrew Wiggins. When it comes to Wiggins, I know a lot of the Warriors fans want us to trade him away, and some decided to stay neutral. Nonetheless, this video might completely change your mind about Wiggins, and you will not believe what I'm about to say. In today's video, we'll be talking about the crucial problem regarding Andrew Wiggins in the Warriors front office. And with that being said, let's roll the intro. Hi. Yo, what's up guys, Jason here, back with another video. If it's your first time watching, I make Golden State Warriors video on a weekly basis, so don't forget to leave that subscribe and turn on the notification bell, and you'll be the first one in the first to see awesome videos, just like this. The first piece of news came out about two days ago and I did not pay that much attention to it. However, as he stacked up in the past 48 hours, it's actually something that's serious. Before I give you guys my own take, just keep in mind that everybody has his or her own opinion and I respect the decision that each individual makes. Okay, so the first news is from Rusty Simmons. He is a San Francisco Chronicle reporter. He tweeted this article with the topic of why Andrew Wiggins' anti-vaccination choice gives Warriors reason to worry. This article basically pointed out that there is increasing concern among the Warriors about the early season availability of starting small forward Andrew Wiggins, who has declined to get vaccinated against the coronavirus. A quick note here, as of right now, the Golden State Warriors, the Brooklyn Nets, and the New York Knicks are the only three teams that said that players who do not take the vaccine are not allowed to participate in any home court activity. Obviously, the Warriors tried to persuade Andrew Wiggins in the past few days, even got in touch with a doctor around the Oakland area. This doctor described the painful experience of those COVID patients, however, Wiggins still didn't change his opinion. Things got quiet for a bit and I thought Wiggins would eventually take the vaccine, but things changed significantly yesterday. According to ESPN, when asked about Wiggins' latest, the Warriors declined to comment on this situation, citing player privacy protocols. Later on, NBA speaks on Twitter regarding Wiggins' request to not get the vaccine, and the result is a big no. Quote, the NBA has reviewed and denied Andrew Wiggins' request for religious exemption from the San Francisco Department of Public Health disorder requiring COVID-19 vaccination for all participants age 12 and older at large indoor events. Wiggins will not be able to play in Warriors home games until he fulfills the city's vaccination requirements. Things are getting intense since Andrew Wiggins is indeed a key component of this Warriors team. Now, here's what I think about the situation. First, to all NBA fans, let's not disrespect Andrew Wiggins in this case. When it comes to things like this, it's understandable to have individual benefit as your top priority. However, I do not see any professionalism in here. If you look at those NFL players such as DeAndre Hopkins of the Arizona Cardinals and DJ Reed of the Seattle Seahawks, they both refused to take the vaccination in the first place, but eventually took it since the team the new season are on the line. Now, in this Andrew Wiggins situation, there are only two consequences. If he takes a vaccine, then he can play. If he doesn't, not only he will be fine due to missing games, but his value will also go down. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Warriors trade him away sometime before the NBA trade deadline. Alright guys, so these are the latest news regarding Andrew Riggins, and I will make sure to keep you guys updated. Comment down below what you think about the situation here, and I will respond to as much comment as I can. And if you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave that subscribe and follow me on social media with all the link in the description down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.